What up, people, friends, welcome. Everybody from the Cool Fan, Fam, Cool Factor Fam, all you guys joining us right now today, thank you for the finale, the grand finale of the beautiful one and only. Man, this set is amazing. Space Shuttle Discovery. Beautiful. So, welcome back. Stream number four. Um, yeah. So I was, you know, I told you guys I would be streaming early Saturday, but you know, family, family comes first and we went Easter egg hunting with friends to the park. It was awesome. Very sunny California. Most of the day outdoorsy today. We just came back like an hour ago. And what is better to end the day, the day of a weekend than building some Lego together with awesome people on YouTube. What's up? Uh, yeah. Good stuff. This is what we have. Uh, the last three bags, we are doing bags 14 to 17 today, which is the grand finale of the set, obviously. We're gonna build the vertical stabilizer, uh, additional engines on the back, and the nose cone together with the cockpit. Yes, sir. And that's gonna be it for the special. I, I, I actually, I'm stoked today. I, maybe if we, if we do it right, not too late, like finish not too late, I might actually record a review and post it tomorrow, who knows. Um, yeah, people in the chat, Brick Star Wars Boy needs no introduction, as always, dude. I'm not sure, how do you find time to join all these streams, dude? You're amazing. Uh, Burrito Boys, welcome. Outsider, Spanish Inquisition, nobody expects you always. Like, at this point, at this point, they should expect you just a bit, okay? At this, like, it's kind of weird that nobody expects you anyway, again. Like, you, you've been, You've been a regular viewer, they should expect you at this point. Uh, Blocksmith Forge, big, big hype for the member. Boom. Little, little welcome. There you go, just to get the, you know, get the audience rolling. You know how, do, how they have these guys? When you go, have you ever been to, have you guys ever been to a sitcom recording? When you go to a sitcom recording, they sit you down in the audience and you're supposed to be the live laugh or clapping. And there's a guy that basically hypes up the audience. So if you have a bad day and you go to a sitcom, rec I've been to like one sitcom recording actually, and they, they hype you up. They like, hey, come on guys, everybody like clap and laugh and all this stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, Ethan, welcome. Uh, yo, 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 what's up? Spanish, is, yeah, uh, that's, I'm, I'm reading chat names twice. Just finished building my shuttle, it's awesome. Well, I can't wait to finish mine. We only have eight people watching, but hopefully more people will join. It's it's a Saturday ev uh, evening slash afternoon, so hopefully we're gonna have more people joining us. But over the, overall, it's a chill stream. I'm I'm a bit tired because a lot of sun, fresh air. You got you get a little sleepy after all that, and we uh, you know and we had some sweets because there was an egg Easter egg hunt, which is like a tradition in the U.S. Uh, Brick Mason, what's up, dude? Brandy, welcome. Yeah, I do remember you. Uh, Brickmation ban. Yeah, Brickstar Wars boy. Like I, I'm, I'm figuring out how do you find time to support so many streamers and creators. That's awesome, dude. Like everybody knows you at this point. So thank you. Um, yeah, there's like I. It, it was an American show I've been to for recording. It was a a Polish sitcom. It was a few years back. Uh, it was like a Polish kind of you know. Uh, it's the first time I've seen how they record sitcoms. It was like a set actors from like a, like a stand-up group that were running this and I knew some of these people that are kind of, kind of famous. It was like fun experience, but they, they actually hype you up as you enter to like be like, you gotta laugh when we tell you to laugh, <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it's kind of that, that, that situation. Roland, welcome. Finale, yes. Nathan Briggs, how you doing, man? All right, let's get started, you guys. Three bags left. Hopefully we don't go too late into the night, uh, but I'm hyped because this thing is gonna finally look complete. Hopefully, that's what we have. Yeah, but that I do. There is a, it's on the stand because it looks awesome that way, but I'm gonna remove it from the stand. It's just easier to build that way. There's the stand. Um, I still wanna figure out how I, how I use this upper camera, but yeah. Uh, last night was, last time was stressful because we did apply all those shiny stickers. I think they came out pretty well. When I look closely, I see some like, flaws that I made, but overall I think it went pretty well. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the overall result. 
so not too bad, not too shabby. We got the uh, Canadarm uh, system for you know deploying stuff to the orbit. That's how they deployed the Hubble telescope. The Hubble can fit inside, but I think you have to remove the solar panels in order for this to work. Uh, we have the um, the Cuban antenna. We have the cameras that are you know the astronauts in the cockpit can see what's happening. There is camera here, two cameras on this, and there's actually a camera on on the Canadarm, which is cool. They use a little hole in the Technic piece to to attach it, which is pretty clever. There's an American flag you can see there. A lot of details. There's a hatch that astronauts use to get to the uh, unpressurized section of the shuttle, which is the the cargo bay is unpressurized, so only the cabin is pressurized. Um, yeah, we got prints. For those of you who don't know, prints are here, here on the wings. That's a print. The United, uh, sorry, this way. Yeah, the United States uh, brick is a print on both sides, and that NASA logo, the, the warm logo, is a sticker. We're gonna have one more sticker uh, discovery. Uh, shuttle name on the front That's the last sticker that's left pretty much um, The cool thing that the landing gear is working already. So you kind of you, you push the landing flap and it engages engages the The landing gear so you gotta reset it like reset it manually Like in the real shuttle the landing gear was only one way once you enable it you gotta land so you push this thing Boom and engages the landing gear it can actually stand like right now. I don't. I don't even have to, um, to you know, to, to keep it without the landing gear. It's actually already on the landing gear. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Who should definitely get this set? I have the Saturn V Luna Lander. Oh yeah, Ethan. If you if you have uh, any NASA sets at this point, yes. I have Saturn V, Apollo Lander, ISS, and now this. So I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy that. Probably I'm gonna mention that in the review, I'm just gonna put them all on the table and kind of show the entire collection, I guess. Uh, doing fine, Burrito Boys, thank you. Hopefully everybody is fine, hopefully your weekend is doing great. Now that you get those awful stickers done, the rest goes pretty fast. Yeah, like if you guys watched me yesterday, um, once I got the hold of how, you, how there is a system to do it, you like use the brick separator, you apply the corner and then it just goes smoothly, so... As you guys were watching, I, I got pretty good at it. Uh, the real radiators on the space shuttle aren't perf perfect either. Gotcha. So these are used, apparently these are used uh, to cool down the shuttle um, and reflect the sunlight in space. So that's why the shuttle, when in orbit, has the actual bay like almost always open. Right? Is that it? Like it just cools down, it's like, it cools down the shuttle basically and radiates extra sunlight. Um, yeah, all right, bag 14, actually, I don't want this thing to slide all over the table, so I'm just gonna hide the landing gear for now, but yeah, it works pretty well, uh, that operation is pretty solid. Right on, let's go, how are you guys doing, how is your Saturday? The bay is always open in the orbit, yeah, that's, I think you, you even say that in the manual, it's like, the manual, uh, for those of you who don't know, has a bunch of fun facts about the the space shuttle program, like how they worked. A lot of cool things that you... I mean, I know most of these things because I'm super nerdy, but for those people who just buy this for the sake of just having a cool model, it gives you a lot of fun facts, for sure. Thermal control system, mm-hmm. Had to reload the tab a couple of times. Are we lagging? No, I think we're good. Let me check my my stream health. Hopefully more people can join us later. We have only 10 people watching, but maybe sometimes YouTube just doesn't push notifications, you know. I did share my stream on like Twitter and everything, but it's just the way it is. Sometimes just stuff doesn't get pushed to people. It's how it works. I mean, YouTube, am I right? Um, yeah, I wonder if LEGO will make any SpaceX sets. Yeah, I've been wondering too. Uh, there is a SpaceX picture in the manual showing the the Dragon along the Falcon 9 rocket because they mentioned how how the space program evolved from shuttles to big gap, nothing, like just astronauts flying with R Russian rockets. And then we have, right now we have SpaceX uh, Dragon crew missions, right? 
That was like a big comeback to American spaceflight. Okay, actually, we're working on the nose cone right now. I'm trying to be gentle because I don't want to like shake the camera too much. It's attached to the table. 2 a.m. Wow. Saturday full of progress, organizing mod parts. That's awesome. My Saturday was very outdoorsy again. We took the kids for an egg hunt. My friend organized a little egg hunt. All safe, distancing, all that stuff. Everybody masked up. But it was fun in the park, you know. Yeah, for me right now, it's, uh, we start at 6 p.m. California. You never sleep. <laughs> well, it's not very good for your health, you know that, right? <laughs> I know, it's sometimes people say like, oh, sleep is overrated. Well, I thought the same, but you gotta sleep sometimes. It's Sunday, Samtan, welcome. Yeah. I, I, I wanna finish this set today. If I, if I have the energy tonight, I might just like sit down and record it. Test out the new studio once again to see how fast I can go from streaming to recording. The whole setup I have right now is basically uh, built around the idea of like I stream with you guys and say I wanna do a video after. Technically, when I finish the stream, switching to a, to a full recording setup should take me like one minute because I I just move one camera, move the monitor, uh, it's on a swivel arm, I, I get the microphone on a swivel arm to the other side so I can record the review and do the intro and the outro here on the table. Um, that's my idea for reviewing stuff. So it's, my, it's a, it's a multifunctional studio at this point and uh, I, I'm, I, it's my own kind of idea and design for workflow. So I never move any cables, I just move the tripod if I want to like get B-roll or stuff like that. Um, B-roll is, is all the like extra shots that are not A-roll, <laughs> for those of you who don't know. If you shoot a video, usually A-roll is your host talking and, and delivering the spoken content. And then B-roll is anything that's uh, fulfilling like beauty shots, stuff like that. So I call it A-roll and B-roll. That's from my work. But most of you know it probably. So like, uh, I'm referring to like B-roll being um, just time consuming usually, so it's faster than with my setup. Uh, Aes on drugs, morning, good morning. Oh, you're from Melbourne, Melbourne, Australians, welcome. Welcome mates. How we doing? And I'm messing up like crazy. Already started messing up. Just trying to read the chat. Um, okay, we're good. Yeah, we gotta remove that. Man, I'm a, I'm a bit rusty today. Oh my god. This just won't come off. Okay, I gotta, gotta put this the other way. There we go. Okay, removed it, we're all good. Boom, boom, boom. Not slept in 40 hours? Not tired? What's up with you? How can you be not tired after 40 hours? How is that possible? You okay, dude? Cause not tired? Like, dude, guys, how, you, how are you? How is that possible? Like, I'm dead after like a 10 hour day. I fall asleep in like five minutes. How is that possible? Anyone done anything exciting today? Eh, just chilling actually. Eh, just like an outdoorsy park day, egg hunting, California sunset. That's pretty much it. I mean, not really sunset, but like just like a chill afternoon. Yeah, we're basically in summer right now. I mean, California went straight from like winter to summer. Like the last few days were just super warm. Just super warm. So basically, 
um, vacation vibes here in SoCal. And I have a few days off, so it, feel, it does feel like vacation, honestly. I've slept six hours in the past hundred hours? Dude. Have you seen a doctor, perhaps? <laughs> how, how, like, do you, is that because of your work or? I, I try to wrap my head around it. Uh, how? Uh, do you have like a, some sleep disorder or that sounds like a sleep disorder sorry to say that but forgive you uh, forgive me for asking i mean it's it does sound like that i hope you're uh, you're okay man yeah the skywalker saga got delayed i mean i think that was to be expected honestly um uh, I, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. I mean, as long as we get a good game, you know, I don't mind waiting. I mean, personally, I have a backlog anyway. And I would rather have this to be a good game and not have the fate of, of Cyberpunk, for example, which was a terrible game at launch. And it's not getting much better lately anyway. They patched it, like, but, you know, they rushed it and you see what we got. I would rather have... Uh, the Skywalker saga to be polished and really good at launch. So I don't mind. I think it was to be expected You know, they have reduced teams COVID like a lot of offices are working with reduced stuff anyway um... You just don't get tired that sounds like a, some sort of a disorder, maybe enzymes in your body or something. Like you, you, it's, it's unhealthy not to get tired actually. Like you may feel you're not tired, but believe me, your body is probably tired, just not your head, I guess. I, student on spring break and you really don't sleep a lot? That, hmm. Have you seen a doctor about that actually? Because that, that doesn't sound like... I know there are people who need, you know... Uh, uh, there are people who are very active and need like four hours of sleep. That's it. Per, per day. And they're like pretty okay with, with everything else. But if you slept like only six hours in a hundred hours, that's... That sounds unusual. I would see a doc about that if you haven't already. Yeah. Uh, it's like a, like a kind of like an insomnia. Arman, welcome. I'm not, I'm not a I'm not a medical professional, <laughs> but you know, if I wasn't able to sleep uh, normally like like you, I I would go see a doc. Um. Yeah. Kind of kind of sucks. I hope you're well still, man. Hope all is good. It's normal for you. It happens every few months. Just a bit of insomnia. But but really, like, have, you, have you seen a doc about it? I, I bet you did, right? Did you? Like, do you have it diagnosed? Or, you know? I mean, it's kind of important to know what's going on with you, right? I think it's important to know. Maybe he's exaggerating. Possible too. <laughs> Never tired. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you kind of have to sleep, yes, even if you don't want to. <laughs> you kind of... Oh, there's this right here, okay. Because, yeah, well, like, what, what you feel is probably like, you feel like, oh, I'm not tired, but you're actually damaging your body by delaying sleep for too long, actually. It's like... Are you able to, like, force yourself to sleep? It's kind of... Actually, it's kind of an interesting conversation to have, like... 
I wonder like how it feels to, to be to have such condition. Hey, my uh, hey, yeah, uh, so hey, Mike, how you doing? Uh, how you hope you're having a great weekend? Yeah, so far so good, man. So far so good. Pretty good day today. A lot of uh, sun, a lot of outdoor stuff. We were chilling at the park with nice views. Kids were playing. It was good. Good, good day. Good day. Family time. Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do worry about you. I do worry about people. You know. Hope you're fine, man. As long as you can figure it out, you're good. Alrighty. Is that? Bada beam, bada boom. Yes. Okay. Nice. Building the nose cone. The, are those the um, positioning, thrust, uh, positioning thrusters? I think, because the shuttle, uh, well, there must be a fun fact very soon. <laughs> uh, when the shuttle was in orbit, in, in the vacuum of space, it the only way it could navigate or like reposition itself were the thrusters in the front and in the back. Those are also positioning thrusters. So the shuttle could fire them to like align itself with um, uh, either the ISS or uh, any, any, you know, any missions. Um, that's the only way. Because once the shuttle is in orbit, those engines are dead. Like, those engines are only for launch. This stuff is not operational after reaching orbit, I think. The only way shuttle can, can position itself are, are the side ones. Maybe the small ones were still operational, I'm not sure, but the large engines are obsolete after the launch. They're only used to reach orbit, right? I think. I might be wrong, though. Love the videos. Thanks, Ethan. Appreciate it. Man, but like that last video of mine, that Tesla review, that uh, diecast Tesla review actually bombed. <laughs> I get no views on that one. I'm not sure if that was the premiere I made or just like a topic that's not relevant to my channel because most people expect Lego. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It's, I still had a lot of fun with this video, but yeah, the views are very low. It's like 300 views only already, but I, I mean, I don't mind. I know some videos I'm just making for the pure fun of it and they, they probably won't find views, um, which is okay. I mean, it's just part of the part of the process, you know? Some videos are doing really well, uh, like I get you know a few thousand views in a week or something, and some videos just like do not get even like 500 views <laughs> over the course of like many weeks. So that's fine. I mean, but I'm glad you guys still enjoy them. I'm always trying to make the best videos possible with what I have and what I think I can do. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the final size of it. Um, the, with the nose cone, yeah. That's where we are, because the, the end is basically finished when it comes to size. We're gonna add the, the vertical stabilizer and all this stuff too. Yeah. Hello Vision, how you doing man, Kirk? Hey! <laughs> I just watched your uh, uh, Bricks Shuffle 2, The Last Dance. <laughs> I'm gonna actually, you guys, okay. You guys can stop watching me for a sec and go check out this video from my friend Kirk. Oh. You guys go check out this video, all right? <laughs> Giving a shout out, well deserved, man. Well deserved. Can you show me how many modified gray studs you have at the end of the bag? Uh, uh, sure, yeah, okay. This one, like this particular bag, because I think you asked yesterday, uh, all the other extra pieces are already mixed up with everything else, so. But yeah, this bag, we can we can take a look. Pretty cool stuff, man. You were a dancer, right, Kirk? Used to be a dancer? Or are still dancing? Okay. 
Yeah, Arkur got some moves. Got the moves, baby. Yeah. Uh, that's some moves, man. That's some moves. Pretty solid. You should post on TikTok or something. Did you post on TikTok? You get, you can get some views. Just format this for TikTok. Re-edit for TikTok or something. Oh, okay, the the discovery sticker is going up in a sec. Bada bim, bada boom. Never was a dancer. Damn. Still, <laughs> dance pretty well. Those were some serious moves. Oh, that's a helicopter flying above. All right. Uh, which one? Number three? Uh, okay. Because they're mirror. Gotcha. Yep, yep, yep. Man, we had like 35 people watching yesterday and today I only have 14. I wonder if YouTube is like suppressing the stream, but that's fine. Sometimes it just the notifications do not go off. Or just late maybe for some people. It's Saturday. People are chilling. Then watching some guy build Lego. I get it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so that's a cool attachment. Doing the panel. Nice. Nice that the first side is actually... You can actually use a bit of a polish here because I love my my fingerprints oh, I'm, I'm gonna keep this thing clean for sure it's beautiful first side is done kind of okay how is stuff going Kirk by the way all good with the content and everything Yeah, I wasn't able to join any of the Beyond the Brick streams or anything last week. I was kind of like working a bit before the break and taking a, uh, a bit time off social media. Kind of. Okay. Goes here. Another one. Going good so far? Good? Yeah, I'm, I'm also happy with my channel so far. I mean, things are working out. I'm not as stressed as I used to be about, you know, uh, having the time or not having the time to work on the channel. Sometimes I have the time, sometimes I don't. I just accepted this fact that sometimes it's gonna just be harder to, to keep stuff going, to push stuff out then other weeks are better than, than others, or their, others are worse than others. It's fine, I just accepted the fact that I'm not gonna be able to fully commit to the channel yet. Um, but that, that helps me like focus on the important things I wanna do, like videos I really wanna make, you know, not trying to push myself too hard. It's a, I think it's a good, good um, approach for you to being on the side as in general, I think. Just like trying to find a good balance, you know? That's what I'm doing right now. So streams, I have time for streaming. I do have time for video here and there. It's just okay for now. I, I think it's good for me. The set is great, by the way. Yeah, Vision. Um, I mean, I was like, it's not very often when I like really look forward to finishing some set like really really I was like I was I was outside today and was like man I want to get back stream the final part I just I just want to get this set done like so bad I want to see it that was the feeling today so it must be good then <laughs> for me gotta head out kill the great world Mike thanks and enjoy the model thank you man have a great night, Ethan. Appreciate it. You did release those uh, the instructions, yeah. 
Uh, you can you can post the link if you want in the chat. You're you're a mod, so if you want, go for it. Uh, Vision made instructions for a really cool uh, alien Nostromo scene. Go ahead and post it, uh, Kirk. For sure. Glad to be able to uh, you know shout you out. I think you can post links as a mod. Oh yeah, that set is like, look at the size of this thing, I'm like the way I'm holding it to attach this, this whole assembly. And it's finding me right now. <laughs> what did I do? Oh, I knocked off the, the dish. That was funny. Spring. Okay, I gotta go pick it up. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just gonna dive on behind the table to pick up that dish. <laughs> I was like, bloop, just jump. There we go. I, for I forgot it was there. I, I just forgot it was in the front. So this thing just popped off. All right, that, that explains why it didn't fit. <laughs> bloop. That was funny. Yeah, Vision, feel free to post your stuff from Rebrickable. Yeah, I am happy to to share it. The, the, the Ronan Sword, what did you have? The um, You have the Alien, and what's, what's the third one? Uh, are you posting that gamers, uh, like, man cave? Are you doing instructions for this too? I have some news. The original John Dillinger car to my town. They came to your town to film for a Discovery Channel show. Should be interesting to watch. That's awesome. There you go. Vision has posted his uh, stuff. So check it out. Support the guy. Obviously. There we go. It seems like you guys, so we're ha we're like handling at 14 viewers. Wh when I see that happening, like there's like a constant like viewer number that's way below my usual. It seems it usually means that YouTube is not pushing notifications for some reason, uh, and I think that's what's happening right now. But just just like I, I noticed that a few times on like 12 viewers, I scared some people off. Anyway, <laughs> uh, usually it means that like people are just don't know I'm live. Is I, I've seen that happen a few times. Usually I see like 20, 25 viewers on a on a weekend. Or maybe people just like eh, for stream, never mind. <laughs> but that might be the case as well. My, uh, my streams may just suck. No, nobody knows. <laughs> I have to modify a few things to make instructions for the man cave. I got you, man. Yep. I'm still impressed that you are able to do your own instructions, like, I have no idea how to mock. I am not that type of guy in LEGO. Nice, so the cockpit is going nicely. I thought it would be a bit more complex, but it's it's simple, which is a nice change after all those crazy stickers, am I right? Thanks for sharing the stream around, appreciate it. I mean, again, like I really never mind that a stream is smaller or slower because I can actually follow up with every single message in the chat. Which is my goal, to, my, my goal is to like engage with you guys as much as I can, so. People feel welcomed in the stream, you know. Sometimes, like I, I when I when I finish a stream, like yesterday, sometimes I rewatch portions of it just to check like the quality audio, just to see if like everything was good. And I see, I see a lot of messages that were good questions, like because the chat is recorded, right? When you like rewatch a stream, you can see I I I, re I keep my chat active, 
on the replays so I can see the messages that people posted and I see them on the screen too because I show them on the screen. Um, and I see so many messages that I somehow I missed even on slower moments with people asking like genuinely good questions or starting a conversation and I, I feel so bad because for some reason even though the chat wasn't as quick I miss those messages a lot like sometimes I just like scan the chat and I for, it's not like on purpose it's just I don't know like I, I catch one message and I forget there was another one or I even don't notice it so it's like anytime I, I, I ignore your message it's not on purpose <laughs> It's always like my... I never ignore people on, on purpose. It's just like focus when I like I build and I, I try to look at the chat and sometimes it's just so easy to miss even good questions. So it's never intentional, so you know, okay? I always... I'm always happy to chat, answer questions, engage. Beautiful. Those stickers are easy after the yesterday. Huh. Ooh, so satisfying. Just fitting all that in. Hey, Classic Bricks, going well. Yeah, that's bag number 14 out of 17. We're finishing this big bad boy today. Yes. It's about to go down. Stuff is looking good. It did instructions for a thousand pieces smoke and whoa, that was a time sink. Yeah. You were smoother than a fresh jar of Skippy. <laughs> hey, that's a compliment I would I would enjoy hearing. The first time I came to your stream, you interacted with me about the Powered Up app, and the, 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 the interaction is what makes people want to attend. Thank you, Blocksmith. Appreciate it. You know, my, my goal is always, like, I don't know, I do, I do not know where the cool factor will grow, like, how much will I will grow. I hope I can get somewhere with numbers of people joining my content, but my, my ultimate goal is to really make sure that everybody that comes and dedicates their time to spend time with me uh, it's it feels welcomed so when, Especially when I see people coming back for the streams like you guys a lot of you are regulars at this point um, And I'm so happy because if I don't chat to you like fully on one stream I can always come back to your questions or topics in the next stream and my ultimate goal is really to to maybe Whenever I go or never I grow, like, is to interact with, with people who support me by watching, by just just coming to the channel, honestly. Um, I want to make sure that everybody's welcomed. Because the, the, the thing I, I dislike most about some YouTubers, even though the, the ones I like, is they grow so much or they just choose to be neglectful of their audience. And sometimes I even watch YouTubers who don't feel grateful for what they achieved thanks to their fans and I, I never want to be in this position like if I ever achieve some level of success on YouTube like I'm, I'm striving for it um, I always want to make sure to remember where I come from like that you guys were with me when I was like a thousand subs when I was two thousand subs when I was five thousand subs when I had smaller larger streams you guys were always with me when I get to like fifty thousand subs somewhere someday uh, and you guys will still like hang out. I'm gonna make sh like I I'm gonna make sure I'm grateful for all that because Honestly a creator like anybody make that makes content on YouTube doesn't go anywhere without People who are watching it's is just the way it is and You have to remember that a lot of the success is well your work, but also That people watch your work. That's that's how it works and then never be like disrespectful or <laughs> forgetful about the audience that brought you to the, to the point you are right now, right? So that's my that's my approach. So that's why I wanna. That's why I really enjoy chatting with people and and making sure they were they're welcome on, on the channel all the time. Ooh, nice nose cone. I like it. So that's how it looks like.
Mike, I remember uh, when you streamed the ISS on the launch of SpaceX and Dragon. That was fun. Yeah, we, we did build the ISS while waiting for the first Dragon crew capsule launch. And what happened there is uh, National Geographic took down my stream, I think, or demonetized or something happened. And I had to, and a lot of people who were sharing uh, that content from like SpaceX, that was, that was, that was SpaceX owned content, all the like um, flight procedure, all this stuff. And for some reason, National Geographic was claiming it all over YouTube and they blocked a lot of streams. Even like the big space guys were blocked by National Geographic for sharing SpaceX content, which is SpaceX allows that. But for some reason, National Geographic thinks it's their footage. And the like people were like, they, they were uh, threatening an, a class auction lawsuit against it. Uh, in the end, my the claims were released and my stream got back online. But that's that was that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I remember that one. That was a fun little um, engagement with uh, you guys like watching the build and oh wow, I love how this all fits together right now. This is so cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. I love how this all fits together. Oh no. There is a one by two that, that I, I didn't use for. Hold on. We have to go back. No, I use it here. Mm. It's all good. I I missed a one by two somewhere. Let's see where. Let's let's backtrack for a sec. Let's see where could I have, uh, where I could have missed that one. Maybe here? No, I think I attached those. Hold on. I hate when this happens. Mm. Okay, they've been used on the side panels. But I think I attached them all. Oh, I know. Oh, exactly, I know. Okay. Boom. There's one here at the bottom. That's it. All good. In the beginning. Perfect. Hey, Thomas. I like your video. Thank you. It's a, it's a live stream, technically, but yeah, thanks. So you won the fight against your wallet? Yes. It came back to me, and I never allowed it to escape again. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Thomas. Thanks for uh, liking the stuff. Appreciate it. If you like Lego, consider subscri subscribing. I, I do Lego all the time. Streaming, reviews, you name it. News. Excellent priorities, Mike. I, I'm not new to the Lego community, but I do have social anxiety and appreciate the interactions you make sure to include in, in each stream. Thank you. I'm, I, I'm actually an introvert. Uh, I'm not a, I'm, I, I'm a... I'm a friendly guy, but I'm not very outgoing person, usually. Um, so I'm happy that I'm able to, like kind of hide my introvertism, in, like being an introvert. Uh, and uh, in the streams, I, I really like to chat. So maybe that's my way of handling it. I don't know, maybe. So I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the, the, the vibe and the interaction. How many bags? Uh, at this point, uh, at this point, we have three bags left. So we had actually four bags left at the beginning. Yeah, 15, 16. Uh, 17. There we go. We're gonna do 15 right now. Oh, wow. You're right, Spanish. There is none. I think I had none. Sorry, I forgot about you. I just tossed. Yeah, I had three pieces on this tray. And 
if you rewind the stream, I think there was like two black pieces and something, but I don't think it was the modified stud. Or maybe there was, I have one here. Um, sorry, forgot about you. Snap. Uh, you said that you had none, none extras. Um, how can National Geographic claim for SpaceX footage as theirs? Being a pretty scammy behavior and also abusing YouTube claim system. Uh, they released the footage because they, they thought that like the, I think they had some old NASA agreement uh, that they claim footage for broadcasting from NASA or some stuff like that. It was like from the old like 80s or some stuff. And since it was a SpaceX stream, but the launch was actually a huge collaboration with NASA because NASA sponsors the Dragon capsule development. I think that's why National Geographic steps in be being a really crappy company or crappy IP hold, whatever it was, and claims all this for, for pure greed. It was a pure greed move. They got so much backlash for it, they stepped down. They actually had to like, because people were about to sue them. Like my stream, whatever, like I, I got, you know, a few hundred views from that. But people who were like everyday astronaut and like lab padre, guys who are spending like tens of thousands of dollars to set up cameras and work uh, with SpaceX to cover the launches on YouTube. They had their own, they had their own footage claimed by National Geographic, their own cameras who were shooting that launch not even through SpaceX, their own equipment, and still National Geographic claimed this. And they were, they were about to sue them for like thousands of dollars in damages because their streams are getting like, you know, 100,000 viewers or something. And uh, National Geographic was trying to just be this crappy like broadcasting giant that says like, hey, it's all ours, it's all ours, like, you have no rights. And people say like, yeah, we have rights. And they said like, okay, you're right, sorry. And then, you know, everybody just like chilled, chilled down. But yeah, they were. It was like a just a, a power grab. It was like a like a greedy power move. They had no right to do it. But they they swept entire YouTube from that footage, and everybody was like so pissed off. Um, yeah, let's open back fifteen. Mike, will you be getting the new old Batmobile, uh, the 1966, uh, the small one? I think yes. It looks excellent. Like it's a small set. Even has a small plaque. I like it. Yeah. The only time we got this uh, car was like the the collectible Batcave set, right, from the 1960s. Um. Hey, Embrix. Having busy this week, so I haven't been able to watch the streams. Much wow. Much wow. This set is gorgeous. Yes. <clears throat> Thanks for coming over, man. Extrovert trapped in an introverted body. Uh, you know, being an extrovert or introvert is just all in your head, honestly. Um, I was always just like kind of like a chill dude. I'm not really out like party goer or anything like that. Um, I mean, but I like chatting with people. It's just I sometimes don't feel great in, in bigger crowds or trying to be in the spotlight. Uh, whereas on YouTube, I feel very like in the beginning it was difficult, but as I as I um, longer on YouTube, I became much more open, much more accepting, uh, like accepting myself on camera. Honestly, like it, it's like a sort of like a ther therapy for my introverted personality. <laughs> like YouTube actually makes it easier for me to like, I don't even think that there's like a bunch of guys, you guys out there watching me. It's like me and the camera and like a single friend just watching my stuff. So it's much more like, I don't know, like camera kind of like kills that public anxiety a bit, I guess. I'm just to check if I missed any pieces. Oh, I see. No, I don't think we missed anything. Like those modified studs are only used for those uh, positioning thrusters. And there's one on, uh, in, inside too. So I don't think, yeah, I don't think there's anything missing. Maybe Lego messed up on here, but maybe sometimes we, when you get those pieces in a previous bag, they already considered extras for the entire set. So maybe they were used somewhere else, I don't remember. 
and they were only an extra one in some bag with a lower number, maybe. That mug is beautiful. Yeah, so this mug is, I, I got it from my employer as, as like a commemorative mug for an event I, I was working on. And it's all metal, like I have a second one. Uh, it's, it's basically a travel coffee mug. It's like stainless steel with extra layer of, it's like a, more like a thermos. So you can take it for on a cold day and still have a warm coffee inside. As long as I take it to my car, the other one. It's pretty good. Ellie, you're welcome. Oh yeah, you know, I've got far because it's, it's stream number four. <laughs> so I've been working on this for the last two days, basically. Um, it, it's taking, it's, it's taking a while. This set it looks looks sleek and and simple from the outside, but man, once you get building, uh, never underestimate how complex Lego can get. Hey Sean, the day was good, yeah, outdoorsy, family day, all good, man, very good actually. That's uh, yeah, we did what we planned. We did, we did a day outside, kind of an Easter egg hunt with friends. Nice park day. Yeah, it was good. Good, good stuff. It's like I, I have this like good tired feeling when I'm like, I felt like I was active this day, like got some sunlight and fresh air and it like kind of gets you tired. You know that feeling guys? Was like the, the good kind of tired, like actively tired. It's not like, like a potato couch tired, but more like an active day tired. Last two days. I mean, because we, we've been streaming yesterday and I've been streaming Thursday as well <laughs> so yeah I split this set between multiple days just chilling you know streaming having fun with the people in the chat the usual on the cool factor and the set is 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 getting gorgeous by the second even more gorgeous yes ooh the flaps. All right, so we can flip this big boy. And now we are actually getting... Um, okay, so I gotta... Hmm. Okay, so it has to... I broke something off in the front. Gotta be careful with that. What did I break? Oh, it's all good. Just a little panel heat sink. Okay. All right, so the flaps, that's how they work. This is the first flap. Nice. Yep. I think once all is attached, they're gonna be well balanced, so they can stay in place. But right now, one of them is just heavy, obviously. <laughs> I saw some of those streams. Yeah, I think I, I've seen you in the chat. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a, I think it's a good progress. I mean, you know, if you're not streaming, uh, this set will take much faster because. I do take my, you know, time to respond to the chat, sometimes take some breaks to really chat about things. Streaming adds, like, I would say 30 to 50% of the build time. Or even more sometimes. I would say. Blake, welcome, almost done. Yeah, uh, three bags left. That should go fairly quickly, hopefully. Maybe in the next hour or so, we'll see. We shall see. Mm, all right. This one. Look what I'm doing. 
Not this one, this one. Okay, the flaps on this side. Let's see. So I gotta like attach them. You gotta make sure they slide. I messed up. It's kind of tricky. Because you have to engage both. There we go. Okay, sounds good. Alright, this one side is done. The other side, right? Yes. I like how you organize the parts. I'm just using the trays, honestly. So the trays were, were a game changer. So I, I picked up just three trays, one large tray, two small or medium trays. Uh, when I open a bag, any large pieces, usually how Lego is sorting them is like there's the large bag. This set is easy because each number is just usually one bag. I think there was one case when you had two bags with not one number. It's not only, it's not the case for more, most sets, but this time, uh, one bag means uh, one number most of the time. So open the bag, large pieces go on the large tray, any extra little bags inside go on the other trays. And that way you always have stuff uh, on hand. So I think it makes things faster, quicker. I don't, uh, before I used the table just, I didn't like the fact that I pulled the bag on and I tried to make a separate pile for small pieces, but they would blend in as I was moving pieces around and building the set. Um, but now, and I put them here, those trays make sure that the pieces do not escape before I finish, which is great. That's like a big upgrade. I highly recommend trays, you guys. You can get something like this from Amazon. Any wooden trays should work. Bamboos are great. This is a Filipino wood um, that I got from like a home decor store. Happy Easter, yes. Yeah, day, day, day is good, Daniel. Welcome to the chat. I just ate an entire family-sized bag of hot Cheetos. Only to realize they are not hot Cheetos. So what did you eat then? <laughs> My favorite snack lately for like something crunchy are those um, veggie crunch crunches so it's not like a like a, it's not like a chip but more like a, i think they have like a dried bean dried paprika um it's it's just like a it's actually like veggie based it's not not a potato it's veggie based they're like healthier for you but the the ones that are made from green sprouts are delicious honestly like i don't know the company that makes them but they're like two bucks a bag and you can have like bean sprout chips um, with extra like barbecue seasoning or just salt or just nothing on it and they like they're really good so that's my like crunchy stuff of choice lately for uh, like watching movies and stuff like that it's better than popcorn even in my opinion I don't know the company that makes them though, but like you look at them in the veggie sections in grocery stores and they're like usually in the healthier section because they're not chips. They're, they're like actually dried veggies. Like, or made from veggies, not, not like potatoes. Uh, I think that's how they make them. Try it, it's really good. Yeah, and since the, the trays are canted, you know, they're like a bow, they're basically, these are like guacamole or dip bowls for your kitchen. That's what they are. <laughs> they're supposed to hold like a dip for a party, but they're served great as my Lego holders and I'm so happy with them. So look in like, go to a, like a home decor store and you'll find something similar probably. It's like a party tray, yeah, basically. Mm. Where are my... Hmm. 
Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. I use full plates for sorting pieces as well, make it much easier, yep. Have I watched the, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? I did, uh, yes, no spoilers. I think it's a, it's a good episode. I'm just not sure where this show is headed, you know? I'm just like, I'm a bit confused. Uh, but it's good, good stuff. I don't wanna spoil anything though. Nice. Okay. We have working flaps. Last flap, yes. Okay. Three down, one to go. I feel like sorting the pieces make it less fun. It would be like it would be like having every piece in a puzzle separated in the right way, just not together. That's one way to approach it. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like. I, I don't think like Lego needs too much sorting. I think how Lego is doing that inside the bags. Just follow the bags and you're good. Honestly, just separating the bags makes it okay to build. It doesn't feel too simple or too complex. There is some searching involved, which is usually part of the fun. Um. But yeah, I the only time I would sort pieces like fully uh, is for a mock, honestly. The, the, the only time in my life when I was sorting pieces like by piece, like exactly, was when we were building mocks at Brick Vault. And we were getting like a giant Bricklink order for a mock. And it's just spending time to sort it beforehand made the mock building so much more fun because most of the time we actually used uh, digital instructions and, and fixing instructions as we went. So sorting made much more sense. But when you build a set, just separating the bags into different t plates, trays, you name it, uh, I think that's enough. That's enough of a simplification and building pleasure. That's just, uh, just the way it is, it's, it's good. The way Lego sorts them for you. You have to go soon. Hey, no worries, man. Here comes the food factor. Maybe the snack factor, am I right? We're talking chips now. All right, all right. Favorite type of snack, go. Like those veggie ones, I, I well, like my top three. But my, my favorite, favorite snack type, snack type. Like by snack, we're considering something you would like eat for a movie or like uh, popcorn is too obvious. Like I like popcorn in all the forms, but snack type. I actually like a, I like a tray of, of bread, of good bread. Like, like, like make your own sandwiches type of stuff. So sometimes we, me and my wife, we do like a tray of, of bread with butter. Um, ham, cheese, on the plate, not on the on the sandwich, and like veggies, and make our own mini sandwiches as we watch a movie, and like has some like some either guacamole or or, or salsa pica de gallo on the side, or like a spicy chile verde, for example, and just make your own as you as you watch the movie. That's like a cool way to uh, to snack through a Netflix binge or something. Like I like I like that. It. Like you're actually like eating a supper, but like making your own sandwiches from a tray. That wasn't planned. <laughs> it's so fragile, actually. Like guys, the, the, the flap, the last flap is just fragile when you assemble it. Just be careful. I, I, I can tell you. I lost a piece. Something flew somewhere. Uh, something flew somewhere. Um, what am I missing? This one by two. Did you guys see where it go? Where did it go? I think it, it fell off the table. Hold on. Is it here somewhere? No. Do you guys see where to go? Oh, it's still here. <laughs> it stayed on the assembly. So be careful when assembling that. Yeah, it's so it's so fragile. Like it's basically it's like 
it's attached by four studs and you're supposed to like push it on a Technic axle so that's something pretty fragile yeah see they're attached by three studs and you're supposed to, to like keep it together and push it together so I gotta I gotta hold the shuttle and like it's tricky not gonna lie yeah it, it wants to come apart okay now it's it I got it I got it I got it okay so that's how it works that's pretty cool huh yeah you, you basically rotate the engine and it's like so that's the landing flap and those are like uh, for controlling the flight because this thing lands enters the atmosphere it's a glider basically it has no power it has no engine power it just glides to the landing uh, strip using the air brake here and the flap that's so cool all right pinwheel sandwiches okay popcorn and spicy chips jelly beans cool ranch doritos saltine crackers popcorn or hot cheetos uh, i saw some chips made from flowers i don't know if you ever seen uh, how adam savage likes to build lego sets but that stuff is insane certainly worth watching the video he did on the ucs falcon he dumped every piece out and sorted it really oh really you guys just dig through that i i, I would go insane yeah especially with the falcon right like honestly um what else we have bread maker for christmas and i'll be making fresh brioche wow nacho cheese doritos cheddar and sour cream ruffles cheese popcorn and cheese balls you guys have some snacks down i'm much of, i'm much more of a simple person i don't have a, as many snacks favorite hey ron welcome I feel like your actions is a really big part of your channel and why you're a lot different to anyone else but no disrespect because it is actually cool thank you i think like i accepted the fact that my accent stays no matter what i've been speaking english for 20 years now and it doesn't matter how long i speak i, I use like right now i use english you know 90 percent of my life because every time i'm outside the house english we just use polish in in the house in between us in the family um, and I've been speaking English for 20 years and maybe there are classes that can teach you how to fix your accent to sound more American but I, I, I used to be like more insecure about this but now I don't really care uh, I, I have the same approach as you say I think that people find me by my accent I have a lot of situations when people said like oh you're the guy oh I, I heard you somewhere I know your accent you know and it's, it's kind of become a trait of mine People recognize me for it, and I accept. I instead of uh, hating it, I became one with my accent, and and I I just accepted the fact that that's who I am, and I'm not gonna push myself to change if I don't want to. Like if somebody doesn't like it, there is the door, you know, and um, it's just me. That's how I speak, and that's how I'm gonna probably speak because when you come from Poland and you speak English for a long time, getting rid getting rid of the accent is very difficult. It's very difficult. I try, like, I, I tried a few times, but you know, you can take classes and stuff like. I, I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care at this point. Um, yeah, I like this song. It's very relaxing. It uh, reminds me of the old PS1 Tomb Raider games. Which one? Probably is already played. Zen Garden. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. Because the chat is moving. I like. Yeah, I, I try to keep, catch up. Not bad. Been watching Jung's live build. Now Mike's a whole day of Lego. Oh, Jung was streaming today, yeah. Awesome. I missed that. Hey, Doc. Sweet, sweet looking shuttle, yeah. Uh, what was he building? I think he, Jung was building the uh, Winnie set. The accent is part of the cool factor. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Doc. No accent, not as cool. Yeah, I, I think like I... I it, it, it actually helps me make a name for myself in the community. Like people say, oh, that's the accent guy. It's kind of like... Some people uh, say it negatively, but a lot of people say it positively. And I think that makes me kind of unique, which is nice. Uh, you want to be recognizable. Like if people connect me with my content and a lot of the times people recognize me through the way I speak, 
and that they helped me on YouTube. Um, that's actually like, I used to like be really insecure about it, as I said. Um, but now it's like, it's part of my little journey on YouTube and I accept that fact fully and I embrace it actually. Um, and I no longer feel bad about it because it, it, it was building kind of like anxiety before me, uh, inside of me. Especially when, the, when I first joined BrickVault. First, like, first few videos, like when I was first ever on the internet with my voice. And I, my English was much worse back then. And my accent was much, was much worse. And people were actually, uh, I don't blame them, but people actually had problems understanding me. And I wasn't, I wasn't aware, but when I was told, I became aware. And, and I had like some, some really like scare, like stage fright, because every video I was making for Brick Vault in the beginning, I, I, I was expecting those comments to show up saying like, well, like, get this guy off. Like, let him shut up, you know, uh, who was he saying? I can understand him. Some like, you know, deep American accent people who never seen an European guy talk English before. They would just like really trash me in the comments. And that, like, I took them personally. I, there was a time when I took them really, like, I took those comments very personally. And I, that, that, that made me feel very bad. But that was before I, that was before I, I learned how to be on YouTube. Because being on YouTube, you have to first have a lot of distance to yourself. And second of all, or first of all, ignore the haters. That's like number one thing on YouTube. Just ignore people that just just purely hate you for whatever reason they don't have to watch like you have to remember like they don't have to watch and they don't have to like ruin your life you don't even know those people and like don't really care like that's the number one rule so before i learned that those comments were really getting to me uh for some time but as i went through and my accent improved and i, I became more confident in the videos and those comments were less and less and less until they kind of disappeared and or were like or i just like purely automatically ignored them or those comments were not were no longer noticeable on the brick wall videos and i noticed like yeah like now actually people like it <laughs> and things have shifted and then i i realized like yeah if you don't care embrace it and just focus on being yourself and just making good stuff, the best stuff you can, you can possibly make, uh, everything is fine, you know? And it's been with me ever since, for a few years now. So at this point, I don't care about changing my accent at all. Uh, I, 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 became, I became proficient. I became a master of ignoring the haters. Like, honestly, you guys, like the, the way I laugh at hateful comments, I'm like top tier. I'm like top tier right now. I laugh at those people so much because I know that I put some effort, the effort, into creating stuff for you guys. And there are those weirdos coming in, trying to bring you down. And I laugh because in the moment when I spent time of actually creating something and making a lot of people happy, they took the time to like bring me down and that's like that's a win in my book already so <laughs> after all these years i became a pro in ignoring the hate that uh, still still like shows up some from time to time like I don't, uh, but but like it's become more like a fun endeavor to ignore it and, and laugh at it um than to actually like take it seriously you know and I think it's, it's the best way, if you ever start on YouTube, just like, the, the faster you ignore the hate, start, the faster you start ignoring the hate, the happier you're gonna be. Accents are always cool. Yeah, America is basically a land of immigrants. Yeah, the set is, dude, like, we're getting some crazy progress. I'm actually building the, the vertical stabilizer right now. Quite charming, thank you, man. Absolutely love your accent, wow, you guys, see? Where, where have you been? Where I was like having problems with people accepting my accent. Where have all you been? <laughs> Honestly, where were you back then? <laughs> um, there was like a flood of bad comments on, on, on Brickwood in, in the first days of my presence. I was like, What's the, where is the hate coming from? Um, and I, I, tried, I tried my best and yet still people couldn't understand me. That was funny and, and hurtful too. It's part of your identity, exactly. Like, once you accept you who you are, and I thought I could be someone else, but 
at this point I accept who I am and how I appear, how I speak, whatever it is. It's me and I can change it. And, and I mean, I probably change over time and I don't even notice that. But the moment you accept who you are and how you present yourself, you're gonna be much happier. I feel like you should teach us some Polish sayings. At least hello and goodbye. Oh, you're very welcome. So hello. Uh, hello, you would say just cześć. We have like weird letters in Poland. So the S and C with a apostrophe uh, is a she and chi. So cześć is hello. Or siema, which is like what's up? Siema, what's up? <laughs> goodbye is do widzenia. Or uh, like see you tomorrow, do jutra. Jutro is tomorrow. Um, do widzenia is goodbye. Um, na razie, which is like see ya. Talk soon, kind of. Like a, like a casual, na razie. Nara. <laughs> it's like a, like a slang, nara. Siema, nara, you know. Nara is like yo, see you, see you later, dude. It's like, it's among buddies. It's like nara is like, like a slang in, in high school. Um, the voice of the cool factor, obviously. That's just cruel. You would, why would someone criticize you for something you can't really change? Welcome to the modern world, dude. Like people criticize people for everything. Appearance, religious, like I don't want to get into that because it's very controversial, like how people react to certain things, but religion, you know, sexual orientation, color of the skin, like it's, it's very deep and problematic topic. Like people, there are judgmental people all over the place. Accent is one of those things that you can be judged upon. And appearance, someone is like, oh, you're pretty, you might be perfect. Like, oh, you're ugly. You're like, I won't listen to you, you know? There's like, there's a lot of bad stuff out there, especially on the internet. Um, so that, yeah, that is cruel. That is cruel, but that's, that's something that is there and you can't just, I mean, I am afraid you just can't eliminate all the hate on the internet, unfortunately. There are just like hateful people out there that will judge you and bring and try to bring you down. Especially when, that's why I'm saying like when you are on YouTube, the sooner you accept it and ignore it uh, for yourself, but don't ignore if somebody is like getting hurt by that. So try to help them, obviously. Um, but as long as you are able to ignore it for yourself towards you, you're going to be much happier very quickly. So there's that's that's certainly something I learned along the way. For sure. And yes, there are more fans than silly haters, obviously. Like e everywhere on YouTube where you go, like haters are a minority, thankfully. Like in most cases, hateful, just bad, evil people are in the minority. And that's a good thing. So there's always this small percentage of people who just like love to hate. Um, but remember, it, it's, it's pure minority. It's like, it's a very vocal minority. That, that, that's the truth, right? Thanks, Octobers. Love your Polish accent. Um, glad to see the guys at Brickwall didn't listen either. Yeah, they, they, they allowed me to, to have a lot of like independence on the channel and they were okay with my accent and everything. So yeah, I'm grateful for them to, to really throwing me into that hosting position and allowing me to, to, to like produce certain pieces of content on my own without much jurisdiction, which was great, honestly. Uh, there were some limitations, but still, like, I had a lot of freedom at Brick Vault, which I'm still uh, very grateful for. Yeah, they were very accepting, for sure. I'm from Portugal, but I'm used to uh, uh, learning English uh, language. Your accent at first, I gotta say, was a little annoying, but through time it became familiar and your video evolution just sure helped. Thanks, Rafael. Yeah, I know I can sound annoying sometimes, even for myself, like, cause I th sometimes I speak very quickly. Uh, even though I'm not like fully pro in English. But I'm glad you, you accept who I am. That, that's really uh, reassuring. What am I doing here? What is, what is this? Oh. Wait, what? That's cool. Is that like the air brake? 
I think I'm doing... Oh, okay, so that's the vertical air brake. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. I was like, what am I doing here? I really do not understand why people can be so hateful. I'm not like that. I say honest truth. Yeah. Well, they are. There are people like this. And just ac accept it and, and move on, right? You can try to change it, but a lot of hateful people do not, vo do not listen to reason at all. Hello, Monroe. Slang. <laughs> People suck. Not like most people are awesome. Some people do suck. Undecided Lego Batman cowl, yes or no? You know what? I still don't know. I think I'm gonna skip on those helmets or cowls in the in the near future, in favor of getting the the big upcoming stuff like the R2D2 or stuff like that. I'm gonna get the helmet collection along with Batman and Star Wars and Marvel at some point in time, but it's not my priority, honestly. What's going on? I'm oh, just chilling, building, chatting as usual, you know. Uh, Munro. You need the coal. Is this the coolest NASA set ever? Might be. I think the Saturn V is still very strong. Contender. Ooh. Ooh, you guys, check it out. So we're, that's a great attachment because it's on two Technic bars. So it's really solid. Wow, this thing becomes... Oh my god, it's so heavy right now. Yeah. Good stuff. Connection point solid. I mean... Yeah, that's the air brake. This thing helps uh, slow the shuttle down in atmosphere flight and glide flight. That's how you engage it. Swing. Very cool. Very cool. There's a... Do you know? Did you know fact? There's a little fact in the manual. Do you like the Looney Tunes minifigures? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I may or may not have something to do about this very soon, so stay tuned. Uh, yeah, that's the speed brake. Mm -hmm. Or air brake. Uh, yeah, did you know the orbiter's rudder doubles as an... Also, that's a rudder, so it's actually... Oh, that's clever. So it doubles as an air brake and a rudder. So... Each aircraft has a rudder, which goes that way, as, as, a, as a hull. But it can split and serve as an air brake in air. Very clever design. So that's the rudder function. That's the air brake function. You guys see? That's awesome. All right, let's go. Back 16. Oh boy, it looks... Yeah, it starts to look great. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with the Looney Tunes, honestly. Super happy about those. Most of us in the US aren't pro at English either. <laughs> You know what? Also in Poland, like Polish is such a difficult language to master with grammar and and like uh, vocabulary and pronunciation, uh, all this stuff and spelling. Uh, we have a lot of exceptions in spelling. We have different letters for same sounding words actually, which is orthographic problem as well. And a lot of people I know, like they still didn't master Polish language <laughs> as we know, so. I'm a huge Batman fan. I don't know about the call. It might be different once you build it. I think it's gonna look cool still. Uh, modifying the clear mouth area for our actual mouth. Hey, the week six just got my shuttle today. Well, you're in for a treat. I'm, I'm I'm finishing this guy, and man, the build is awesome. Really, it's it's so good. Uh, so far, so good. Really. How do people dust their Lego collections? I use like a giant dust brush sometimes but i i probably should be doing this like twice as often i'm more concerned about my glass um, glass shelves these things get dusty and you have to actually wash them um do you have the old techniques from 80s space shuttle uh, the hyper hyper red lights i do no i do not it's tricky to assemble no i i do not have any old sets from the 80s really here Welcome to the chat, Gobery, by the way. By the way, yeah, there was an there was a technique special. Like it's a very old set. 
using regular le Lexi's kind of stuff, like the Roadrunner. Yeah, I don't like the Roadrunner. Did you guys notice? The Roadrunner and like for me, two things I don't like about Looney Tunes. Roadrunner looks weird. I think it should be uh, either a mold. Honestly, I think Roadrunner should be like a large mold that comes in, in pack with the Coyote, Willy. That's one thing. Second, Tweety should not be a minifigure. He's too big, obviously. Tweety should be like a accessory, a mold, special, uh, like a small animal for Sylvester. That way we get two slots open for two extra minifigures. And those should be Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. Change my mind. Seriously, honestly, like I don't like the Roadrunner, I don't like Tweety. They should be included with Willy and Sylvester respectively. And slots should be taken by Elmer Fudd and Yosemite Sam. Change my mind, really. Um, yeah. Hubs the, the brick with wings at the shallow is. Um, Yeah, that's just I yeah, that's why I don't like. It's just the brown legs. Mhm. Mm Spider-Man? Uh I think we're talking about the um Venom and Carnage busts, right? Looney Tunes isn't for me, and now that I don't like the characters, but they seem almost under detailed for 5 bucks. Then somebody was then somebody say that they're going to be 6 bucks. I think that leaked picture did show 6 bucks per piece per per minifig. The new molds are great, but there's very little printing. I noticed that too. I think a lot of that effort went to getting those heads. Uh, some of these are great, like Bugs' head and Willy uh, head mold are excellent. But I, 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 I like Bugs uh, Duffy has a rabbit season sign and we don't get Elmer Fudd in the set, uh, in, the, in the series, like why? Because what, he would come with like a, like a shotgun? I don't know. And you, we don't get Yosemite Sam also because what, he would have guns for accessory? Because he's like a like small like pirate, but <laughs> basically he would have like pirate pistols and like a long beard. Um, so yeah, Tweety and, and Roadrunner should be included within other figs and Yosemite Sam and Elmer should be there. Yeah. Shuttle arriving tomorrow, Simon Robertson. Uh, Oh yeah, we'll put the chrome stickers on first. <laughs> That's a good idea. Um, I, might, I might mention that in my review that like people, a lot of people might actually skip those things because applying them takes real practice in my opinion. But yeah, that's a good idea. Apply them first. They're back 13 by the way. Apply them first and then you're gonna be so much happier building the rest of it because you do it in the middle and it's so frustrating. Like yeah, do it first take a break and then build the rest of the shuttle. That's a good idea actually. Especially since uh, those pieces, the, the, the new panels, they do come in a separate bag together with, um, I think they just come in a separate bag actually. Yeah, so you can open that and just apply the stickers right away. You don't even have to open any numbered bags. Boom, boom, boom. Good idea actually. I might mention that in the review actually, I think your approach is pretty solid. Just apply them first and then build the rest and chill. Because like you, you get caught by this in the middle and it's so frustrating. It like it throws you out of the zone. If you're like in the zone of building Lego, you know what I mean, right guys? Like when you're in the zone and you have a flow of building, like these things throw you off so bad. They like, they basically distract the whole process <laughs> because they take so long. Chat was praising me for me to doing the for doing this in 30 minutes, and I had people in the chat saying they did it in like an hour. Imagine an hour on stickers only? Come on, that's a lot of time just for stickers. So yeah, do it first before you even start the shower. That's a good idea. I think the price is still up in the air. I think it was possible that it was just bought from a second. Part. That's possible, Embrix. That's a good point. Maybe they bought it from like somebody, like a small toy shop, that was uh, marking their own price for extra margin. Maybe you're maybe right. Who knows? Nobody like I don't think we see the store name on the receipt from that picture. 
that could be like a small small game shop that got them and released them because i don't think any big retailer has them right yet so maybe you're right maybe they just upmark them for their own margin i like mars because it's black venom so venom is the same build as carnage is that correct i don't think that i like this fact do you have any sticker applying tricks use the brick separator like that's like even chat advised me to like anytime you you apply a tricky sticker use the tip of the brick separator to get the sticker here and like have the piece and like do it that way like what i did like each panel i was like i basically had each sticker on the on the on the short end and i i, I was holding with one of the hands and holding the piece and i was trying to like to catch the corner and get the corner with my thumb first and then like when you see the glue getting the corner in the correct position you just slide your thumb and you just slowly apply the sticker and that also eliminates all the air bubbles so you get that and you finish at the uh, at this end so you start with the end with the studs and you end at the 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 end with the holes for for mount for mounting so you just go this this kind of like start here and like move move yourself but you gotta I, I was holding the piece like each like this and i was basically like catching one corner the deep corner the one by the studs uh making sure I, it's aligned and then pushing my finger and just you know just going through and uh, as long as the sticker was was aligned i had no air bubbles in the rest of them and i would just like clearly apply them and it became faster as i was going so by by practicing you actually get better at this i think that's like one of the most challenging sticker applications i ever had in in a lego set for sure so yeah but but nevertheless always use a i think uh, using a brick separator for sticker um it's a pretty good technique a lot of people recommend it light spray the piece with the window cleaner so you're able to move the sticker around it and let it dry really doesn't that like dissolve the glue at some point uh welcome with the by the way uh doesn't that like mess with the glue uh is that because it's a, like a window cleaner is usually alcohol based so doesn't that dissolve the glue uh, too much don't you think isn't that problematic for like long-term glue like ad adhesiveness if that, is that even a word mike i agree with the the bird should be a small bird mold or something like that she's a not a minifigure would have loved yeah yeah especially like everybody knows sylvester and tweedy cartoons and tweedy is just a tiny canary that's all he is so i don't think he serves well as a as a minifigure especially that we get sylvester like totally Tweety should be together with Sylvester in one pack like come on Lego did before like there was a girl with a with a teddy bear mold uh we had animals like a turtle in that uh, diver minifigure so a lot of minifigures were getting small small animals that were super custom to them and I'm sure Lego could have done Tweety just like that like it, everybody would be so happy uh I don't think Tweety works very well in that form honestly sorry uh i think it could have been done better and we would have like a, a, an extra slot for some missing character again yosemite or elmer so, uh, elmer father yosemite sam they're missing for some reason maybe because they're both used guns in the cartoon <laughs> i don't know lego canceling everything these days The Elmer was like literally shooting Duffy in the face every episode or Bugs or whoever like usually Bugs and Duffy and like that rabbit season joke is because Duffy was trying to get Elmer to hunt Bugs not Duffy that was that was the whole joke Looney Tunes was full of like cartoonish violence like full of it <laughs> so I don't think that would be like problematic for Lego to, po to, to have Elmer with like a giant shotgun <laughs> I mean, it was in the cartoon, literally, like it was there. It was even the Space Jam movie. He was there too. I mean, come on. Mm. 
getting back to Rintoon CMFs, I'm just I'm just so glad to see them. I mean, yes, I'm ha yeah, true. I'm happy that are, they are existing in any shape or form. Bugs, Bugs is amazing. Willy the Coyote, my favorite by far. Um, the boxes are not used. Yes, they are not. I, I'm relieved as well. I am happy with that too. Nobody expects you Spanish Inquisition. Exacto <laughs> um, knife? What's exacto knife? Like, I guess anything like that's a knife can work too, but I think Jang uses knife. Jang is a knife guy too. I think he uses knives for that, but I use a brick separator. Uh, it's because I always have one here. I have a bunch of them. Everybody has one. Anybody has one. Yeah. Mm. This one. <laughs> okay. Is that the first? Um, I don't know how the engines are called, but I think there's a name for those uh, extra side engines. I think LEGO will, will treat us with another trivia fan fact in the manual when I finish one of those. We'll see how they are called. We shall, we shall see. We have 23 people watching. Thank you guys so much for coming over. Even though it's a, it's a bit of a like chill late night Saturday stream, a lot of people are just like chilling, binging Netflix. And yet you are still here watching a guy build LEGO. Thank you. Very much. Do appreciate it. Yeah, I, I've, uh, I didn't see the full trailer yet. I just saw a notification on YouTube. I gotta watch that trailer from Space Jam. Uh, is it good? Can you just tell me without spoiling the trailer too much? Is that, are, are, is there something to wait for? Is that, are we, are we are, aren't we like bombarding um, Space Jam Michael Jordan's legacy and Bugs's Bunny's collaboration. Will that live up to the iconic status of the first Space Jump? Just tell me that, please tell me. It lives up to the iconic first Space Jump, which is the movie I actually very much love. No, it does not. Oh snap. Really, Doc? I hope it will be good. I love the first Space Jam. I actually loved it. It's it's like one of those like childhood movies that I truly love. I I, I love like rewatching Space Jam from time to time. Honestly, it's just a, such a fun movie overall. Like Bill Murray is there, and like you know, I love it. I hope it's good. I hope it's not like Ghostbusters. Uh, three all over the place. I really hope that the Ghostbusters Afterlife will actually fix things. I do hope that. Because the aftertaste after that new Ghostbusters, the latest one, is ugh. I use the uh, exacto knife for the stickers, for, but the big ones, like the plug, I just apply normally. What, what is an exacto knife? Is that like those like flip knife? Is that it? Black, uh, yeah, I saw, I also saw the notification for the Black Widow trailer. I think we're gonna watch some trailers when I finish. I would love to play them on the stream, but you know, copyright. You gotta be careful. You gotta be wise about that. Hey, <laughs> Galaktyczne Klocki. Co ty tu robisz w ogóle? Czwarta, czterdzieści rano. Co ty robisz w środku nocy, chłopie? <laughs> Witaj. Polish viewer joining us at 4.40 a.m. because he's in Poland. 4.40 a.m. in the morning. In five, he says, in five hours, I'm gonna translate. Uh, five hours, you're going to your parents for a Easter breakfast. That's awesome. Uh, so, a bit of a time to watch you build this stuff, this, this wonder. <laughs> All right, dude. Yeah, I mean, get some sleep, you know? 
wiesz, sałateczka jarzynowa, majonezik, jajeczka, szyneczka, no gdzieś to trzeba zmienić, a jak zasiąść przy stole, to co będzie, no. Zazdroszczę ci, I'm gonna use some Polish. <laughs> He's talking about, like, a Polish tradition on Easter is that ta super giant family tasty breakfast on Sunday, Easter Sunday, that's what we do in Poland. And I, 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 I'm envious, because I don't have any family here. And we're not having any sort of, like, giant breakfast with the fam. And my, I, I miss all the, like, you know, like there's a, a egg salad and we, we have some good things in Poland, like hams and breads and... Brrr. Jelly, zazdroszczę porządnego śniadania wielkanocnego, wiesz? Naprawdę. Nie miałem takiego śniadania od laty, jak tu jestem w Stanach. Nie byłem na... od lat nie byłem na, na święta w Polsce, wiesz? Znaczy nie, byłem... Trzy lata temu byłem na święta wielkanocne w Polsce. Ale tak to tylko raz. Exacto knife is basically a metal handle with a super... Oh, so that's like the, uh, the one, one, one piece blade, right? With a super sharp blade. Okay, so I know, I, I think I know how it looks like. It's like the one, the, 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 there's a hole for the finger, so, and it's like a, just a blade. But it's not like uh, folding or anything. Is that it? I think so. I'm, I'm not a, a knife aficionado. I, I have no clue about knives. Me don't know. Hello again, welcome back, Jordan. Okay. First engine down, one to go, I think. Which side am I using? It doesn't matter. Oh, it does matter because I can only use one. Okay. It only snaps on one side. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> it's a knife used for like graphic design and art. Oh, it's not what you are talking about. Okay, so I'm wrong. That's fine. Thanks for explaining, though. I'm s I, I have no idea about knives, honestly. <laughs> I know how to use a kitchen knife. Fair enough. And I have a meat cleaver. In the kitchen, is that does that count? Hey, Twinception, how you doing? Evening, evening, evening. Welcome to the chat. Finishing the shallow today, tonight. Good stuff. Good vibes. It's. I mean. This thing is complex, holy smokes. I thought I would be done in like 30 minutes tops and then we're here still. I'm like, what? This thing has some details, man. Use a cleaver to apply this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not like a large cleaver, but it's like the one you use for like chopping meat. It's a meat cleaver, actually, and I actually use uh, this cleaver for like most of like even veggie chopping. Like, <laughs> I gotta be careful though. Like, you gotta hold the the veggies like in a proper way, or gonna chop your hand off. Um, so be careful, kids. Don't do it if you don't know how. But um, all right. Wow, clever assembly, all right, we got this, what's gonna go on this side here or here, I think, which one is it, I don't know. All hail the pink cone, I think Junk really turned this into like a full-fledged meme, 
He made like a pink con man. He made like a minifigure for that. He has like a pink con throne. Isn't that true? Like I I rewatched some of his streams lately and I think the pink con lives on. He made like a full on theme from that. That's awesome actually. <laughs> like a running joke. Did you know? Hey, there is our trivia. Of course we can rely on Lego for providing us with all the necessary information. Let's see. Boom. What I'm holding in my hand is the orbital maneuvering system and reaction control system. So I think the orbital maneuvering system are those little things in the front and the back, whereas the reaction control system are groupings of engines and thrusters that control the orbital's movements while in space. So, okay, so this thing also works in space. It's like a smaller engine that uh, also can push the shuttle in space. Okay, so I thought, so these are obsolete when you once you launch, but these are still operational. Interesting, very much so. Okay, we're gonna add it here. Beautiful. Yeah, you can angle them just like that. Perfect. Okay, second one. Let's do the other one. Mirror, basically, a mirror. Beautiful. I thought it was a cult, uh, a cultish meme, if so. Or Jung is maybe starting a religion, I don't know. Maybe he is, he has the power to do so. He's becoming the um, the leader of the pink con believe, believes. Maybe that's what's happening. <laughs> Oh yeah, so Pink Con, yeah, it's an inside joke from Jung's Lego City Gardens, yeah. So what happened, what happened to me as well, in the set of Lego Ninjago City Gardens, there is an extra pink cone piece. A cone is a type of piece that's usually not as an extra. For some reason, some Lego Ninjago City Gardens copies received a pink cone, a dish, like a one additional pink cone. And I, I have one as well, actually, from that set. And Jack got one. And he got so flabbergasted by this. That he did this whole thing. He got, he was talking about it so much and he made a character out of it. He made it a meme. And the chat went along with it. And there was even a guy in, in the chat that made a, a YouTube account named The Pink Cone. And, and the whole thing just like snowballed from there. And it's, it was living on ever since in every junk stream as, as of now. <laughs> Green cons were approaching on pink con territory in junk's last stream. <laughs> they're like, they're make, he's making like a whole story from this at this point. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Like a random joke from the chat that only a few get at this point. Still lives on. That's the strength of the community, I would say. What junk is burning around his channel, like the community. <laughs> That's what's up. Gotta go for the night. See you all. Hey, Embrix, thank you so much, dude. Appreciate it. Here, yeah, throne. I think I saw like a some sort of like a like a pink con assembly. I think he's giving every chat member like a super chat, a pink con or something at this point. It's like a like an icon right now. My brother lives in London and also hasn't been to Christmas for many years. My nephew will be born in one and a half months and we don't know when we'll see him either. Sad COVID times, yeah. For me, like before COVID, it was the distance. California, Poland, you know, expensive flights, long flights, jet lag, all this stuff and cost. I mean, majorly cost and, and time to have. My, my parents have to like take vacation to fly to us. I, I think for finally the, this year they will be able to fly to us because everybody will be vaccinated. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, like cause and COVID, like nothing for many, many months. There were no planes to Poland. Europe was on lockdown. US was, was on lockdown. Uh, so nothing was flying. So I missed, I was planning to go to Poland, but that was like shortly before COVID. And well, you know how that ended. Everything stopped flying. Sawatka Jeżynowa, ah, my favorite. My mom makes the best one. Sawatka Jarzynowa is like a traditional Polish like veggie salad with mayonnaise. 
that every family has their own recipe. It's like a thing that every mom, every like housewife, every every family, every grandma has their own like it's like a very simple salad. It's like a mayo, cooked veggies, eggs, uh, mushrooms. No, no, no mushrooms. No, no, uh, there are no mushrooms on this one. Eggs like veggies. Uh, some 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 lime juice I think some people add like salt pepper. It's an easy like mayo egg salad But every family has their own and like every time you go like you get invited in Poland to every family's house for like festivities whatever and every time the, the This salad is on every table, but it always tastes different even though it has only like five ingredients <laughs> but it tastes different for everyone and everybody has their favorite, like my mom has the best one, or like my grandma has the best one. And like, and I miss that because my mom used to make like my favorite one. And well, she's not here, so she, she's in Poland, you know, and I can't have it on Easter. It's like an Easter thing. Ah. So yeah, I, I'm a bit jelly of having like a normal Easter. All must bow to the pink cone. I don't want to steal Junk's joke. Like, I don't want pink cone to become a thing on the cool factor, okay? It's a Junk thing. We need some... We need, we need our own insider joke, you guys. We need to become a strong community. We need an insider joke. I think we might have a few, but... Sounds like a Russian Olivier salad? I don't know about this one. No, I only own the Polish one. King or queen of junk stream the true the, they rule the stream. The first time I found Mike was during the Ninja Go Fire Mac Ninja Go Fire Mac review and live stream. Really? That was that was wow. That was some crazy time ago in some different millennium. I don't know how long how long ago that was. That's kind of crazy. Thanks, dude, for hanging out for so long. It's it's crazy that a lot of you guys still remember me. <laughs> I will stop. Hey, I, I was I was like it's I, I wasn't serious, uh, Brick Star Wars boy. It's just <laughs> let's keep it to Jang, but we we can, we can certainly laugh about it. Um, yeah, three four years. I know, that was like yeah. I mean, when did the Ninjago movie sets come out? You know, that was then. Because I know we got them... Uh, I think we saw them like early. That was back when Toys R Us was still a thing. And I think I remember specifically when I was... When this like this hot movie was coming out, Ninjago movie. And we knew that those sets were like freaking awesome. And I think I found them early in Toys R Us. We basically rushed to get all of them. And we were like, I was like rushing back to the studio, like, Jack, Jack, I have all of them. And it was just like, wow, let's stream them right now. And like, that's what I think what we did. We were like, we got them, yeah. And I think we posted like all the early reviews, like real quick. And we might have been like the first on YouTube with all that stuff. Uh, I think that's what was the case. Cause I know we were like streaming and, and reviewing them. It was like a crazy crunch to get a bunch of these sets out as soon as possible. And everybody's like, how did you get them? <laughs> and I think I just found like a Toys R Us locally in San Diego that was selling them very early. And I was like, yeah, let's go. Oh my God, we gotta get them. I remember that specifically. That wave specifically, because it was such a hot commodity. The weird piece from the cameras in the payload bay could be your own mascot. Uh, you mean like, uh, like this thing, like those little cameras in the payload bay, kind of. Um, I actually think your community is very strong, Mike. I've met plenty of people that are here for many streams. I would say your community is on point. Thank you, appreciate it. Um, that's that's how I feel, and you guys are awesome coming back. And you know, I I see like every stream I can count on so many familiar faces, uh, nicknames in the chat, more likely. Uh, that is just awesome and I can always count on so many people to come over and, and even like 
the most dead streams, like the, the like latest night, the most dead streams, there's always someone that's a regular staying a, a while and, and listening, like in Diablo, you know? Stay a while and listen. That's awesome. Well, apparently um, LAN network did not recognize that. And in my rejection email, they said like, well, come back to us when you build a community. <laughs> really, they said that kind of, in different words though, but the main takeaway was like, oh, we like, thanks for submitting, but we feel like the cool factor is like, you're an influencer, but there is no community. I was like, are you sure about that? So I, I, maybe I, maybe it was my mistake because I didn't pitch what I actually do on the live streams and all that stuff to them. But Lego thought that we're not community. Like there is no community on the, around, or like the, they don't see the community around the cool factor. I think that's what they were trying to say. I was like, well, uh, I mean, I think there is a plenty of people who really are a community here and I think I do inspire quite a few people to to join the Lego fan fan the, the Lego fam you know and Lego said like mm, I don't know about that one we don't know about that one chief so it was like kind of sad to hear from them but maybe it was my mistake of how I maybe it was my mistake of how I structured my application because you have to like write an essay what your channel is about and why you want to join the LAN and how can you bring your community on board LAN network together with you. It's kind of like this kind of situation here. How are you can, how can you be a connection for your community while being a LAN member? Like how can you connect your fans to Lego in a meaningful, meaningful way? And maybe I, maybe I did not emphasize that enough. Maybe they saw like it's, it's not a good explanation. Maybe I, I wrote it in a wrong way or something, but I think we're a community. I think we're a pretty awesome community. You and Jank streams have similar feel, calm, cool, relaxing, tend to prefer to hyperactive YouTubers where everything's apparently awesome. Wow, 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 wow. Here, everything is awesome as well. <laughs> no, I, I get what you're saying. I know like some chats, like people are, you know, have huge streams and chats are moving so quickly that yeah, it's, it's hard to build the connection real quick, but but that's what I want, like, when I ever, like, have bigger streams in the future, hopefully, you know, some things will grow, some things may not, who knows. But I really want to stay, like, very appreciative of people coming over and spending their time with me, that's for sure. Ironically, LAN doesn't seem to be doing too well at the moment. Well, a few people, a few key people left, or, like, MNR was let go, just a good left. Um... Maybe they're gonna send an email, hey, um, about that rejection, you know, <laughs> would you like to come back? <laughs> Maybe I would be happy if Lego like, by the way, like we, we kind of like would like to have you on board. Like, that'd be awesome to hear from them, but I'm afraid that's not gonna happen. <laughs> I think I have to reapply anyway. I have to wait a year to reapply, which is gonna be <clears throat> November, I think. Oh, we're definitely a community. You guys are an awesome community. For sure, like, I think we are chilling, hanging out. <laughs> I get people even saying, like, if they don't think we're community, I'm gonna send Lego an email saying how much Mike told me to buy their stuff. And I went and I bought their stuff. So, sales, am I right? <laughs> uh, uh, to, be, to be frank, LAN is basically a marketing ploy. It's like, LAN members as much as we can talk about communities and stuff like that, because that's true, like, LAN member really is focused on growing community, of course. But at the same time, a LAN member is basically a marketing agent, because why would LEGO send all those review copies ahead of time? Because they want to build hype, and they want to have people who know what they're talking about to show it, guess what, to who? To their communities. Ta-da! It's basically uh, free marketing for LEGO, and they just don't want to admit it for some reason. But we are very much like we, like, um, okay, I'm not yet a LAN member, but people who are LAN members, the community of LAN members are basically marketing agents for LEGO and they, they know it and they accept it, so it's all good. Where's my one by two? Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Wait, did I use it somewhere? Mm. 
I am missing a one by two. Why am I missing a one by two? Uh, I don't know. I have a black one. Maybe I miss misplace a black one. Probably. I mean. Oh, I wait. No. Okay, I gotta see where I use the white one. Hold on. Maybe I was chatting with you guys and I just misplaced. Oh, this is good. I mean, I don't think it's that important. You know what? I don't think it's that important. I think I used a, a white piece or a black piece instead of a white one, but... I think we should be good. Um, I guess... Well, I, I guess we're fine. Hold on. I think I used the... Where's the, the blue one? Never mind. I think we're good. I think I, I just m mixed up a piece inside. Check out Przeciek. Uh, 71395 to be announced Nintendo set for 170. Ooh. Uh, Galaktyczny Klocki, thank you. Thank you for... Uh, there's a leak saying that a 71395 set number is a to be announced Nintendo set number. For $170. I'm gonna translate your comment. Uh, I wonder if it's a, some sort of like a large set of Lego Mario or maybe another product from Nintendo. What can it be? A Game Boy? Peach's Castle. <laughs> Brian's like, ah! Uh, I don't know, honestly. I, I do not know. That's, yeah, you guys think it's gonna be something along the lines of uh, the NES system? Like a, a, like a model of something Nintendo? Or we're getting something Mario? 170 is not like a, doesn't seem like a large set. Um, the NES system is 230, right? I think, 230 bucks. Um, so that doesn't seem like a large set, honestly. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Good question. Stickers look perfect. I, I tried. I hope they're good. There are some flaws if you look closely, but they're pretty good overall. Like the overall effect. It's good. I'm happy with it. I don't think I'm gonna try to fix it. Speaking of everything is awesome, I found a random gem. In the wild today, Doral General had the Lego movie for 10 bucks with the exclusive figure that came with it. Oh, that's a good deal. I think that was like what the uh, was, was the, the Lord Business or Emmet or a custom Emmet. Uh, I think it was the Lord Business, right? If so, that's a good deal. I think. That seems like a good deal. Yeah, I don't think you see that that piece is, is wrong. Did I do the, the, the correct one on the other side? I don't know, I, I may have misplaced some here, but like it's, it's that inside piece, so I don't mind too much. I think we good. Boom. So the, 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 the rear is, is, is done. Whoa. Okay. Back 17 is the last one, so that's the rear section. Whoa, this thing is, is hefty. Yeah. Got the flaps. You see the engines. 
can kind of like, yeah, they go like this on a ratcheted joint. Pretty good. Yeah, looking good, looking good. This thing is, oh, it's heavy, I can tell. It is sizable and heavy. Okay, last bag. Woo! That's a small one. Look at that, that's only those pieces. Just the cockpit, that's it. That is it, we have the printed cockpit piece. Looney Tunes, which one is the best? I think Coyote. Coyote is my favorite, I always love him as a character. Every time. I, I felt so bad for him. I, for some reason I always wanted him to catch that Roadrunner, that pesky Roadrunner. I felt bad for the guy. He was, he was, he's a brilliant dude. He was always putting in the effort and always ending up with some anvil hitting his head or the, the, stuff, that he, the stuff he orders from Acme never works. I feel bad for this guy, where is customer service? Like what's up with like hanging the air for the Roadrunner and he's always falling to the, off the cliff? Why is he always hitting the painted tunnel while the Roadrunner is always running through it? Come on. I felt bad for the guy. He, give him some slack. He's the great, great little character. Willy, the coyote. Come on. Didn't you guys always want to like, just catch the Roadrunner, just let him catch him for once. <laughs> it's funny how he has a little anvil with him. <laughs> of course. I wish he had like an Acme box. Not dynamite, because Lego apparently hates dynamite and cancels sets over dynamite, but here we are. I felt bad for the dude. I think he... He, he was just... He, he's, he's a hunter. He wants to just... He wanted a good meal, you know? He's a, he's a, he's a predator. It's the way of the nature. I mean... That's the last bag, yes sir. We're gonna, actually I'm gonna flip it. Oh my God, this thing is actually bigger and heavier than I thought. Wow. Uh, we're doing the cockpit right now. That's the last part. Look, there's just like, it's very little, uh, small, it's a small piece count because the cockpit is removable. So you can access the lower deck because the, the shuttle had two decks and there is the, the hatch airlock to the cargo compartment so the astronauts can go for a spacewalk because this thing wasn't this area was not pressurized there was like it was not pressurized it was just holding cargo lost bug hype absolutely mm -hmm. Bunch of consoles, cockpit details, yes. Let's do it. Good stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm so happy, like, man, this thing is beautiful so far. We're gonna put it on the stand in a sec. We're gonna take a look from all angles. We're gonna, we're gonna appreciate the set for a moment. Oh, okay cool console details, so we're building a little console. Oh, very really cool. So there's like a little computer in the front and a snap piece, not sure if that's legal in Lego, but apparently it is. So what's that one here? Three little computers with prints, unusual. First, I, I think it's the first time that Lego is printing on cheese pieces. And I think people notice that there is a cheese piece with actual cheese on it in the Looney Tunes figs. Oh. My wife turned on the fire uh, alarm. Hold on.
nothing is burning, oversensitive fire sensors, my wife left a, a pan, brilliant, she left a pan on the, the cooktop and went upstairs for like 30 seconds. <laughs> Nothing is on fire, just the pan got smoking. And it happens all the time. We have like, our, our fire alarm system is like so sensitive. I, it's like, you just like, you burn the toast over like five seconds and it goes off every time. Dro stop, drop and roll, we're good. So the, not, the fire, the shell is not on fire, okay? We're good, that's all good. No, it just goes off like twice a week, honestly. You just like leave something on the cooktop for five seconds too long and it goes off. It, I mean, it's okay, I don't mind because it's better, better safe than sorry, right? But yeah, I never had so sensitive smoke detectors as in this house. It's kind of insane. They're very sensitive. Like you can even, like you open the, the, you open the oven and just the heat from the oven can just can 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 um, uh, start off the fire alarm. <sighs> I'm alive. I'm alive. Nothing's burning. Just the pan. All good. But yeah, I actually, like it's good to have a sensitive fire alarm system because you never know, right? It's better to have a a quick uh, alarm that you can just turn off. But after checking your house but it's so funny because this every house in this neighborhood because it's all like new housing has the same system and you would like sit on like a leisure day in the garden and you can see like you can they're like so loud and you can hear like neighbors like eh, eh, like five times a day like some random houses eh, and they're like shoot <laughs> Everybody has the same system and it's like everybody just burns something on the stove top and it goes off all the time. So I don't feel it, I like first time it was scary, but like I don't feel bad anymore. It's just so sensitive. <laughs> but it's good, it's good. It's um, because like, say, better say that, sorry. Ooh, Prince. Guys, Prince. Those are Prince. Nice. Yeah, uh, I don't have a deep fryer, but I, I know what, I think we're, we're gonna buy an air fryer. Did you guys hear about air fryers? New piece, new piece, that's the thing that they mentioned. New element, there you go, new piece. Yep, the corner, the curved corner. Um, I want to get the air fryer, did you guys hear about air fryers? They don't use um, they don't use oil. I heard it's pretty good. New element, new element. Canopy is new. I mean, how do you even call it? Windshield, space shield, heat shield, printed. Very nice. I, I fried something once and used the wrong oil. Yeah, if you, if you use the wrong oil, the one with, with low burning point, you're gonna get smoke real quick. I think avocado oil has like a high burning point so you don't get smoke uh, at higher temperatures. But if you use like, like low point boiling oil, it's gonna smoke real fast. And you can kick off all the fire alarms in very quickly. Um, when I work at the theater, we had like somebody, uh, one of the workers, when we were closing a shift, he dumped the oil too early and forgot to turn off the fryer and the fryer started smoking. And what, what, what it did, it triggered the shutdown of the entire mall and the fire department was called. We had to evacuate like a thousand people on a Saturday night because somebody uh, dumped the oil and forgot to switch the, uh, the, uh, the, the deep fryer. We shut down the entire mall because once this kicks off, like the theater engages like automatic system. Sprinklers didn't go off, but what did go off were fire preventing curtains. 
and uh, there was an automatic call to the fire department. The whole mall got evacuated. So we got, we evacuated the our theater, but there was a Ralph's grocery store that had to be evacuated <laughs> on a busy night because of one guy. <laughs> he felt bad. He didn't get any like problems from it, but like it was like a new employee. Um, but that was funny. I mean, funny, not funny. It was scary, but at the same time, it was like pretty crazy. Once evacuated the hotel. Yeah, I, I want to try the air fryer. Um, Spanish is obsessed with your air fryer. Is it good? Like, can it do like French fries and steaks and all that stuff? Like without oil, actually, is that true? Like people are like always like saying like, this is so good, like get an air fryer. Like really? Okay. Wow, this actually fits nicely. It's so snug and... Is that it? So the shuttle is officially done. Now the stand for the, the basically the mount for the Hubble inside. Whoa, dude. This is so great. Whoa. Whoa, it's so big. Ah. No, it's really like, holy smokes. This thing is beautiful, man. I mean, it's so large, too. I mean, dudes. Dudes! Whoa! Okay, we're gonna build a little stand for the Hubble inside the bay. And you, you push, like, yeah, you push this shrink. Yeah, you gotta push real, real, real good, like one good push. Because there's like a there's like a, a giant assembly inside that first pushes the the rear gear and then you have to like really push to like get the front gear. And you gotta reset it, like reset it, and then hide this on springs once again. Yeah, good push. There we go. This is beautiful. Yeah, usually we kick off the fire alarm by by doing tortillas or pancakes. It's like you get smoke real quick if you're not paying attention. That's cool. All right, let's do the small stand and uh, see how it works with the Hubble and everything. We can put it on the stand now. I love it, man. Stunning, huh? So cool. All right, I'm gonna keep the gear out. Uh, let's do the last bit, which is the the stand for, because you can you can display it either this way plus the Hubble on the side, like I got the Hubble here, right? So you can do it that way. Of course, it's perfect. But there is like extra, there are extra bricks that allow you to, oops, just allow you to. Uh, to, to display it like inside the bay with the Canada arm and everything. Hey Sai, good morning, wow. Did you wake up too early? Or is it like very, very, very late for you, man? I saw was in the wrong order. Yes, yeah, so the canopy is the very last piece for the shuttle, yes. Okay, I'm gonna build this little stand. Let's see how that works out. Just a few pieces left. Almost there. Um. Try it to see if it glides. No, thank you, Simon. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. That's a no. That would be a no, thank you. I'm not a type of YouTuber who throws sets around. <laughs> what time is it for you, Sai? Jesus. 
how I I'm I'm on I'm a night owl too, okay? I can stay up really late, but in the long run it's not very healthy though. So I hope you I hope you're getting enough sleep, dude. I do hope you're getting enough sleep. Alright. Ooh, last pieces. Feels like uh I feel accomplished. Okay, actually. Let's see, what is that? What, what am I doing here? What are those gold pieces? If we do get the gold, uh, I call them Harry Potter candles because I think that's the first time this piece came out in white um, in Harry Potter sets for the new wave. But what are those? I don't know. What is that? What is that for? Holding the, the Hubble or... Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, they're like, um, okay, so they do represent, they represent um, the solar arrays, but folded, like in the real one, before it like unfolds and goes to orbit. So we can now modify the Hubble Okay, so they tell me to, okay, remove those. Okay, that wasn't planned, but remove, remove the panels. Okay, the panels removed, okay. I got a zoom, lightsaber. Okay, perfect. Okay, this way, sorry. No, no, it actually holds better this way, like zoom, zoom. I don't know how to make those sounds, I'm sorry. Um, Alright, so they tell me to... Okay, close this. Uh... Wait, what is... Where is that? Oh, okay, remove this. Remove this, okay, that's like the control panel, I think, for the Hubble. And then we take those, okay, that's like, that's like a, that's too many steps. You get, you remove those pieces, that's the, just the holder for them. You get the... What? Okay, you get those in here. Is that it? And then... We open the shuttle. Oh, okay, so it, it opens here. So it holds that the way the panel is. Okay, this way, okay. This way. Clever, clever. Okay. We got this, and then we add the, the folded panels in place of the unfolded solar arrays. We do this. We do this. And we do this. And we do this. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's like a slot. Very clever, Lego. Very clever. So there's like a slot. Just slide it in. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada beam, bada boom. Uh, okay, we do this. We do this, and we do this, and we get the arm. Like that. And the arm connects to one of those... Like, panel. Like... Like that. Okay. Is that... That's how you display it? That is cool. Because obviously the arm can hold the whole thing. Um... They rolled up this, yeah. So that makes sense actually, because um, like even the the, the panel element is a, a very this soft like material that Lego is using for sails or like the like the technique catamaran comes to mind, right? Those plastic prints. 
So that makes sense, like they're, they look like they're foldable. So I think that basically reflects the whole technology. Because like in the ISS, we had the plastic panels with prints. So people say like, why, didn't, why are those? But I think this makes more sense now that I know that those are foldable um, panels. Hey, Shy Time, how you doing, man? What's up? Right, so that's the way you display it with the Hubble telescope being deployed to the orbit. That's, that's, that's how it looks. That's, that's the way. This is the way. It's not even fitting in the frame. It's so big. Yeah, it's not even... I'm trying to get it close to the camera, but the focus is losing it. I think I'm on, on manual focus on that one right now. But... Yo. Working as always. Welcome to my world, dude. Actually, I have a few days off, which feels amazing. Um, wow, wow, a big honking wow, a giant wow, if you will, we gotta hide the, the landing gear because it looks weird in orbit, we're in orbit guys, we're in space, hide the landing gear, it's not deployed, you can only deploy it once on landing, oh, it does look freaking fan freaking fantastic, Good job, Lego. Holy smokes, this thing is... Wow. Wow. Okay. Anything else in the... No, just like how to operate the landing gear. Yada yabba dabba duba. Landing gear deployed. Multiple options to display it. On stand, on landing gear, with Hubble, without Hubble. Beautiful. B-E-A-U-tiful. Wow. Okay, Lego, can we have a space exit now? That would be great. I don't think there's anything from NASA left that Lego can possibly do. ISS done. Space shuttle done. Saturn V done. Uh, Apollo landing, lander done. Maybe a Perseverance rover. Maybe. Uh, with the landing system that was used on Mars recently with the Ingen Ingenuity helicopter that's gonna fly in a few weeks. It is beautiful, you guys. It is pretty. I think we can move on to SpaceX now, Lego. How about that? How about a Falcon 9? Actually, the Falcon 9 rocket is very, like, boring looking, if you think about it. They're, like, they're very sleek and minimal. There's not much to look at, honestly. They're giant and beautiful rockets. I've seen, like, the Falcon 9 booster uh, when I went to Hawthorne, LA, uh, to the SpaceX headquarters. You can actually walk up and they have a Falcon 9 booster on display. You can see it from the street. It's really, it's glorious. But as a model, it, I think the more, more, more interesting would be like a starship or a, a big dragon capsule, maybe. A lunar rover, yeah, maybe. Yeah, something from the Apollo missions. Um, it takes only three and a half minutes to go from 37 feet to landing, wow. That's a quick landing, actually. Why do they go so fast down? Like, can we slow down? I mean, the, the, the program is obsolete now, but... Check out those videos. They have some awesome lightsaber mocks. Who? Um, to Inception says... Oh, Brick Vault. Yeah, they have a bunch of, like, they have a collection of these, yes. The Mars rover, yeah, like, like a Perseverance or... Curiosity, or maybe both in one set. Hmm? That would be cool. Right on, guys. Okay, I'm gonna modify it back to like shuttle only and Hubble only. I think it's also a cool way to do it. So let's see how fast we can do it. So it should be fairly easy. So we, we get the Hubble off, our lightsaber. I should have like a like a sound on my soundboard. Like yeah. Um, yeah, remove that assembly. There's a little slot that holds it. Right on. From the Hubble, we have to remove two of those little pieces that connect to the Canadar. Put it back on their slots just for holding purposes. This thing becomes obsolete at this point. In that display mode, we don't need it. The control panel that actually was on the real Hubble, I think 
astronauts would like uh, spacewalk to this thing and like actually actually work on on this exact module so put it back on and we can then assemble the solar arrays back on Re remove the the folded ones i wish there was a way to store the folded ones inside the shuttle bay just like for so you don't lose them but i think we just throw them in there or something i <laughs> there's there's no way to hold them i think which would be nice because I, I bet somebody can can lose them. All right, we attach the panels. Let's do it. It's kind of a process, isn't it? it kind of is a process. Okay, Hubble is back on their, on its display stand. Yeah, I'm finishing in a sec. Jeez. Uh, so. Yeah, you gotta push it in because, yeah, they don't really attach that well. So, just stays that way. We can fold the Canada arm or the manipulator, whatever you call it. I don't know. Yeah, it has its own space. Like, yeah, these things you can probably just toss them in there somewhere, or maybe attach them in the. Yeah, you can actually attach them in this place when. Um, where normally that stand would go, see? So you can like attach it like that. It kind of like, no, it kind of like, maybe on this side. Yeah, on this side, like that. I don't know, I know it's not like in real life like that, but yeah, I think it works. Yeah, you can you can, you can can keep them in there on the studs, like just like here. Okay, we're gonna close it. Boom, gonna get the extra pieces out of the way. Yeah, uh, I wanna like collect my thoughts and start thinking about the review for this thing. I think it's gonna be uh, uh, awesome. Boom, Hubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Open Hubble. Antennas. Think that way. Antennas that way. I don't know. And this, the, the little plaques. Yeah. The little plaques. So yeah, at some point, like that assembly becomes obsolete. So you can probably also keep it inside the shuttle bay. But there is no way to really just put it in there. It's gonna just like rattle in. But yeah, that's that's the shuttle, guys. That's the set. That's that's the that's the thing. Can we like photo up? Okay. <laughs> I'm not even recording, so... Um, yeah! Wow, a super chat right at the end. Thank you, man. Nathan Briggs with 250 Filipino pesos. Thanks for the awesome stream. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Wow, wow, we wow. <laughs> Thanks so much. Big hype. Yes. Yo, that's for you. Whoa. Why... <laughs> Did that sound Thanks like Thanks for the awesome stream, Mike. Underscore cool hype. Underscore cool hype. That's the name for my emoji. Cool hype. Thank you. That sounded like homie. Try again. Why does it sound so echoey? Did you guys hear that or is it just me? Or, or does it sound so echoey too? No, this one is, is normal. I don't know. Maybe that's my headphones. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. Thank you. Uh, it's gorgeous, yes. So you can see how big it is. I mean, it's 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 also a, a big chunk of, of bricks. Like there's like a stand, like yeah, rattling. What? Bfab? Come on, man! Thank you. Are you kidding me? Thank you. No message though. Bfab dropping a, a hot ten. Wow, you guys are insane. Big one. This sounds so weird. Yes, uh, big ones for, for the chat. Come on. Yes. For me, I hear that air horn as like an echo, like in the distance. It's so weird. Maybe it's, it's a glitch. Thank you. 10 bucks hype. Wow, you guys are insane. Thank you for the 20 uh, bucks in super chats. Like, cause like Filipino 250 is about 10, 10 bucks. It's about the same. 
just as I'm finishing. Uh, yes, bricks and coffee is tomorrow. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot about this. I mean, I didn't forget, but I forgot to tell you. Um, and uh, yeah, it's happening tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific normal timing. I gotta prepare actually because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, news to talk about. Oh my God, Bifa become a member, became a member, dude. Like I thank you, man. I appreciate it. You don't have to. Thank you, man. Wow, big, big, big clap, big clap for you once more. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you remember, I think, number 28. Thank you so much, Bifab. I mean, you don't have to. I appreciate it very much. You know, we're like, we're buddies. We're like in the same realm of YouTube. I do appreciate the support. Uh, he's just dropping super chats and... Uh, oh, he's in the chat. He was saying hi. I didn't see that. You're very welcome. Thank you, man. You're welcome to the streams as always and appreciate being an awesome buddy. Uh, Bifab is also part of um, collective panel uh, on... Uh, beyond, um, no, you're not... You're, are you on Beyond the Brick? Uh, no, you're on uh, Cy O'Connors and, uh, and Nate, uh, London Bridge Bricks. So sometimes we, we do catch each other uh, talking and chatting and he's a, he's a cool little guy. Not little, big guy. <laughs> Uh, I sometimes say that cool little guy, it sounds weird. Yeah, so Bricks and Coffee tomorrow at 9 a.m. Uh, we're gonna talk about a lot of cool things. I think we're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna summarize the, the April Fools. Uh, I, I actually caught up with all the like funny uh, articles uh, and I think people did some really funny things. So we're gonna kind of do a recap. We're gonna do um, Looney Tunes, we're gonna cover Looney Tunes. I'm gonna actually schedule the stream right, right after I finish. Um, we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna catch all the all the things from l last week. I think it was the the Marvel like Venom and yeah. Usually it's like a big big um, catching up to do. Yeah, yeah, that's number fourteen. Hopefully it's not gonna be unlucky like last time because the last time I was late because YouTube didn't want to to host my stream for some reason. Lucky 13, but today this is gonna be episode number 14. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, man, I want to record a review for this, but I'm, I'm actually very tired. Uh, it's been a long day, and I've been streaming for how long have I been live today? Two hours 40 minutes already. Okay, so that that explains a lot. I'm I'm I've been, I spent all day outside almost. Uh, in the sun, very warm day, so I'm, I'm, I gotta eat something too. I didn't eat the proper dinner. Um, hey, Shai, yeah, Shai is here too. Thanks, Bifab, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much uh, for the support. Uh, it means a lot. Care to donate to a poor Canadian? <laughs> oh man, I wish. <laughs> I wish I had a second one to give you, because I wanna, I wanna have a copy for sure. It costs a lot of money too. <laughs> Oh man, I hope you can get one at some point. The shot on the stand just looks mwah, mwah, chef's kiss, Brian, yes, Brian's bricks. I mean, it looks so gorgeous, you guys. It's not much to review, honestly, like, because uh, what, what do we have? We have, like, the size and the looks are majority of anybody looking at it, like, yeah, the size and looks are great. Functions are, I think, secondary, honestly. I think the biggest function is the ability to... I mean, actually, the biggest trait of this is the fact that you do get the Hubble telescope. It's like, this set could be just this, honestly. And they could sell the Hubble as a standalone. I, I wouldn't mind. But the big part of the whole package is that there is a package, actually, and you get two plaques, two, two items, two models. They can live separately, they can live together. There's a way to live, to know, to, to merge them together. This is great. Um, the landing gear is a fantastic function. I mean, this works so well. It's also snappy. It's like the reminds me of the Aston Martin uh, function for the ejection seat. Like snap, and like the gear just goes down, uh, like in the real thing. Um, we get the air brake. We get the working flaps. Uh, the shuttle. Okay, so there are, there's plenty of functions actually. The shuttle bay door, the Canada arm, removable cockpit, second deck. Um, all the details, 
manual with a bunch of Easter, uh, not Easter eggs, uh, fun facts, trivia, uh, cameras inside, um, antennas like in the real thing, uh, reflection panels, printed giant USA flag and, and NASA discovery, uh, stickers that are not, I, actually the, the, the most dislike of the outside are the discovery sticker in the front. That could have been printed, but I don't think Lego ever printed on that piece, ever. We do have the cupolas printed, which is nice. Um, and the NASA warm logo in the back is also a sticker, but I don't think they could... They would have to like print just two of those pieces in a special way, so I can justify why this is a sticker. I get it, because it's a new piece, they didn't want to print it, they just wanted to produce them en masse. Um, good, really good stuff, really good stuff. Like. Like really good stuff. One of the one of the most sought after sets that's gonna be this year probably, most likely. I think it's gonna be one of the most um, remembered sets from this year when it comes to adults like space nerds. I can see that. I can see that. Um, probe droid and the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. What is my next diecast car buy? I don't know. Those Teslas are insane. I think. I might just get another Tesla, because they have plenty, they have a Model X. I kind of want to see a Model Y from them. Uh, I don't know. But I think, like, looking at the quality of those diecasts, we're talking about these guys. Because, yeah, this is what I got. <sighs> yeah. Oh, a bit dusty. Sorry. Gotta keep it nice and clean. I think the window was open today, and the the... the my, my, my little beauty got a bit dusty. I have the Model 3 as well. So yeah. Uh, I, I, like lo looking at these, I really don't wanna go below that quality of finish. It's amazing. Uh, and detail, like, yeah. Um, I enjoyed building the shuttle with you during part one. See you on the next stream. Yeah, Spanish, thank you. Uh, I feel bad for the guy who has 6,000 votes on ideas for his own model of the Hubble Space Telescope. Oh. Awkward, yeah. Only April and it's been like, yes, <laughs> we're not even like full four months in and I don't know. I don't think I'm, I'm going to miss so many sets this year. I don't think I'm going to buy everything. It's, it's too much money. I'm already like dropping fat money on all those like models. Anyway, I'm not even getting everything, but still like, I think I already spent like over a thousand bucks this year on Lego. And it's not even April yet. I mean, it's just April right now, like just begun. Uh, Blocksmith, thank you, great stream. Yeah, okay guys, I'm gonna head out. Appreciate, my god, the support uh, at the end with two $10 super chats and Bifa becoming a, a member. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for support. Uh, yeah, it means a lot because I can keep going that way. It's really awesome. Thanks for another great stream. Take care. Yes, you guys take care. Have a great rest of the week. We're seeing each other tomorrow on Bricks and Coffee. Um, I wasn't sure I'm gonna do this one because I was planning to kind of get a get a kind of do a getaway weekend, but I think we're staying home. Actually, we did like a little outdoor day today, and tomorrow I think we're we're not going anywhere, so uh, we're just gonna chill at the house. But yeah, I'm gonna be here in the morning, uh, catching up with all the Lego stuff with you and, and having some good coffee together. Yes, uh, have a good night. Thanks for another great stream chat, and hopefully catch catch tomorrow. So yes, tomorrow 9 a.m. Pacific, uh, bricks and coffee. Get your coffees ready, get your brew ready, get your cold brew, whatever it takes, even tea, even a juice, anything that good, that's good for the morning, uh, even cereal, come on, you can have cereal together with me, yeah, why not, <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's see each other tomorrow, all right, I'm heading out, if I, if I feel like it, I might record a review today, if not, probably I'm gonna record a review tomorrow, but I gotta eat something real quick, yes, see you all tomorrow on Bricks and Coffee, thank you so much for joining, you guys are freaking goats. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Peace out. Bye.